There have been 862 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. My mission, for every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. We're not going too far into the future, just up to series 12 for The Haunting of Villa Diodati. The Haunting of Villa Diodati got 5.073 million viewers. And as I said yesterday, I think World Enough and Time and The Doctor Falls are the best Cybermen story out there. But this comes pretty close. This is certainly high up on my list of Cybermen stories because Ashard the Lone Cyberman is such a sinister presence throughout this. And the sort of horror of this episode is really pushing the envelope compared to, you know, what we've had before in the new series. And it's kind of done with sound effects and implication rather than showing the violence sort of in your face too much. Um, there is that extraordinary bit where Jodie Whittaker gets a rare moment of showing the Doctor's sort of righteous anger towards the end of the episode. But the moment I'm picking is a moment that sort of cemented uh, a certain character in my head and made that character click. Now, when I was watching series 11, I think like a lot of people, I said, right, Graham's my favourite companion. Absolutely, it's Graham, it's Graham. But even as early as Orphan 55 in series 12, I found that a lot of the contributions Graham was getting to give to the story it was, it was pretty much the same as what he had been doing the previous series. And there's nothing wrong with that because Bradley Walsh is brilliant and it's still entertaining to watch. But then I started looking more at Ryan's character, who I think gets more growth in this series than he previously had. So the moment I'm picking is when Ryan is playing chopsticks on the piano for Mary Shelley. And specifically how Ryan talks about the fact that he just keeps practicing. Of course, he has dyspraxia, which affects his coordination and his movements. But compare that to his frustration and throwing the bike off the hill in his very first appearance. Sitting at the piano, he's calm. He says he knows he's getting it wrong. It really annoys Polidori, but it doesn't annoy Ryan anymore. He is comfortable in himself and comfortable at developing at his own pace. And I think that's something very important for everyone to take. A lot of people, when they take on a new skill, will insist that they, they have to be perfect at it, or there's no point doing it at all. And to be honest with you, like you'll notice there's been long gaps on my channel. It's because I start thinking, well, I'm not doing this perfectly. The background keeps moving. I can't get the same framing between shoots. So what is even the point? And the point, is creating and getting better. You know, I know that my February episodes were low light and <laughs> looked really grainy, and I'm hoping I've improved that with this batch of episodes. You know what I mean? But the point is, I am creating something. And whether it looks 100% or not, I feel great when it goes out there. Whether it gets 10 views or 100 or 1,000, and I haven't had a video get 1,000 views for a while, but even then, it feels great to get something out there, even when it's imperfect. And I think that that moment from Ryan is a great moment to give to the audience, and especially in an era which seems to be very much focused on getting new and younger fans into the program. And this is the moment that solidified Ryan as my favourite companion of series 12. I find that Tosin Cole plays Ryan with a great deal of subtlety. And I've mentioned that online before and people have perhaps uncharitably uh, said, uh, it's not so much subtlety as not acting. But I have to disagree. If you look at Tosin in the background of shots, he's got that sort of Mark Strickson or Peter Purvis style quality that He's, he's always reacting in the character in the moment. And re-watching episodes after this scene kind of really grabbed me, I see a lot more of Tosin's performance. And I just think that this moment sort of sums up his character's journey up to this point. 
And of course, Ryan leaves a few episodes after this. It's a great quiet moment before the storm of the two-part finale, and it's just a lovely moment from Ryan. Ryan talking about how he perseveres through the challenges he finds in his life is something really nice about the haunting of Villa Diodati. Now, before we finish up, I just want to say, uh, I think I've got the pronunciation of Diodati correct, but I don't know. I thought it was Diodati, and then I looked it up and it said Diodati, but I may have defaulted to Diodati, and I'm now going to stop saying Diodati or Diodati and say thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, but whatever you do, enjoy the rest of your day, take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video.